Seven four, the Warriors take game one over the Brandon Wee Kings. James Gallo, Derek Kletzel in the Golden West Trailer and Equipment Broadcast with going downstairs. Mad Greek Coaches Show with Associate Coach Scott King. And Scott, first I want to talk about the energy. Your team had energy to start this hockey game. There was lots of energy in the stands. What was it like for you on the ice? It was great. It uh the building uh, started to fill up as the game went along, and uh, I know it was great to see that energy. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, it gave the the players lots of uh, juice coming out, so it was great to see. And hopefully, you get more of that. And uh, obviously, like you said, we had a real good start. Feels though on the attack, especially in the first two periods, Moose Jaw coming up the ice with a purpose and had numbers. They had speed and were very aggressive in the first two periods. Yeah, we were. We, uh, you know, thought we did lots of good things uh, entering their zone and. Uh, put lots of pucks at the net. That was the key, and make their goalie make saves. So uh, I liked that part of it. I thought, uh, you know, I thought a little bit when uh, they changed goalies. I thought we uh, got a little bit sloppy, um, and so the execution wasn't uh, wasn't there at, at certain points in the game where we could have really put them uh, behind the eight ball. So uh, definitely some stuff to get better at, and I, I still think we uh, we gave up too many shots. Uh, and Brandon's, you know, it's one of those teams they hang around, hang around. And all of a sudden, you look up and it's, it's two goal game. So uh, we need to make sure we bury our chances and limit what they get uh, in our zone. What was it like before the game, Coach? Uh, can you describe the what it was like in the dressing room? Was there excitement? Was there nervous energy? What did you guys feel as a coaching staff as you looked around the room? No, it, it felt like excitement. I think everybody's ready for this part of the season to start. I think uh, uh, everybody's aware of the expectations that are in front of them, and uh, they've embraced it. They're not shying from it. They know they want to make a, a deep run and have a real good playoffs here. So I think it was just complete energy. I you know, I can't speak for some of the young guys. Maybe there was some nervous energy there. I know we have a few older guys that haven't been in playoffs before, but I thought it, it felt like a normal game. I know that the uh, we've got good leaders in that room that make sure everybody realize that, uh, you know, playoffs, anybody can beat anybody. And you saw that last night with Saskatoon. So uh, I thought uh, the start was real good. And that was kind of set the tone for us for, for the rest of the game. How about a, a quick comment on the physical play of guys like Ry Savvy, Kovacevic, and Lucas Brenton here tonight? thought they were great. I thought, uh, thought Cole played with purpose in his game. I thought he was physical. I thought he was tenacious, uh, chasing bucks down. And uh, Marty, for whatever reason, uh, just seems to bring out the best of this time of the year. So we need that from him. And uh, he did it last year and uh, hopefully he continues to do it again this year. We talk a lot about Jagger Furkus and his highlight reel goals, but on the fifth goal for the Moose Jaw Warriors tonight, Scott, his back check to steal the puck inside the Moose Jaw Warriors zone. Does that plays like that show his hunger to try and get that puck back and lead rushes up the ice? Yeah, I think it shows that. And I also think it shows a lot of maturity in his game that he realizes that, you know, the play without the puck is just important. And those are key moments in a game. And I thought he did a real good job of hunting pucks, attacking the puck. And, you know, it's plays like that and uh, the energy and the, the guys see it in the bench. And, you know, we got the leading scorer in the league uh, making those extra effort plays, getting pucks back. I mean, it just brings juice to the team. Can't be a lot of times this year where you guys put up seven and zero on the power play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't really <laughs> happen very much. I thought uh, I thought we had a couple uh, couple real good power plays uh, where we had really good looks, didn't score. Uh, I just thought uh, as it went along, uh, I thought the shot selection was something that uh, we'll talk about tomorrow. I thought there was times where you know, we were trying to force stuff through, and we can just be patient and get to our set again and and start to run the plays. So um, you know, it's not always going to go in. I think you know we had a, a post and some they did a good job of blocking some shots. So. Uh, we'll be better tomorrow for sure, but yeah, that doesn't happen very much. Bangry Coaches Show with Associate Coach Scott King. We appreciate the time. Good luck in Game 2 coming up tomorrow. Right. Thanks a lot, guys.